So it's Saturday, July 4th, and today we got up really early. We're gonna head to Glacier National Park because we're gonna make an attempt to kayak Lake McDonald this morning. Um, we're gonna do our best to try to beat the crowds and get a parking spot. So the roads are empty. I think we're gonna beat the crowds and it looks like it's gonna be an incredible day. So you guys want to get here early before eight o'clock in the morning and then you can get a parking spot right next to the lake in Apgar Village. Here at Lake McDonald, they're really worried about invasive aquatic species. So it's mandatory that you get your boats inspected. If it's paddle craft or motor craft, they're looking for things like mussels and other invasive species. And they give you a little sticker. Once you have that sticker, you're good to go. So here's the boat inspection station. Inspection station opens at nine o'clock, so we're just gonna wait a little bit. Hey guys, I'm super excited. This has been a dream right here. We are all geared up. We've got the kayaks ready and we're about to go down to the beach. too fast. This is incredible. Okay guys, so we just launched and I'm going to spin around so that you guys can see what the beach looks like from the water's point of view. So this is kind of facing towards Apcar Village, Glacier National Park. There's the famous dock right in front of me where everyone goes for their photo op of Lake McDonald. A little bit of polar plunge going on over there. Let me tell you, this water is super cold, guys. This is fresh snow melt off. Even though it's July 4th, you still have to worry about hypothermia if you get caught in the water out here for too long. Motor boats are not allowed on the lake right now, so we're not gonna have to worry about chop. Nope. Nope, we don't have to worry about it. And if the wind starts to kick up to the point that we see white caps, we just head towards the shore. Guys, I'm feeling extremely lucky today. So if you make it out here to Lake McDonald and you don't own a kayak or a stand-up paddleboard in Apgar Village, I passed a small shop that had a ton of them for rent. You get out here on the water and the perspective really changes for you of the mountains, of the shoreline, and it gets a lot quieter out here. So I've been paddling for a little while now. You guys might be able to make out the shoreline behind me. It was really warm down on the beach and at the dock. Now that I'm out in the middle of the lake, the breeze coming off the mountains is pretty chilly. I'm not sure how far we're gonna go yet, but it's such a perfect day out here. We're just gonna keep on paddling. So the kayak I'm in today is a Dagger Axis 12, and it's what's called a crossover boat. And what I like about this is it's got a drop skeg. So if you're in a river seeing some rapids, you can pull a string, pull the skeg up, and have tons of maneuverability.
the definition of the mountains is starting to come through the haze. So we were just discussing when we're gonna turn around and start paddling back to the shore that we launched from. And we can't, we just keep paddling towards the mountains. We can't stop. It's just so surreal that we're here doing this right now. just got the sound of the water, the breeze, and the birds. And that's really it. So we pulled over to the shoreline really quick just to check out the foliage and the trees up close. But not without bear spray on hand. wonderful aspect of this lake is just how clear the water is and how deep you can see down into the water. So it's probably not gonna show up on camera, but we finally got our first bald eagle sighting. So we just paddled right underneath that eagle. He didn't move, he just watched us float on by. Didn't stick around too long because I don't like disturbing the wildlife, but it was a really cool experience. The weather really does change here constantly. When we started out, it was warm, then it got a little cool, then the wind kicked up and we saw some chop, and then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, it's glassy again. So there's this little point right in front of me. I think we're just going to paddle up there to the beach and relax for a minute. That might be our turning around point for the day. Water's really shallow here. And it looks like I've got some deer tracks down here, right on the shoreline. So the wildlife is present, and of course we would not be beaching right now if we didn't have bear spray handy. Can't see more than a few feet into the foliage. So the funny thing is we stopped for about 10 minutes on the beach and during that time, we went from having no wind to the wind changing directions. All morning, we were paddling into a headwind. And now that we've decided to turn around and head back down the lake, we're gonna be paddling all the way home into a headwind. And it looks like a pretty strong one too. Having a drop skag makes a huge difference in the back of the boat for tracking straight. It's 
it's pretty wild just how much it helps. I had a feeling this was gonna happen. So that burst of wind reminded me of something really important. Out here in the national parks, it's a wild place. It's not an amusement park. It's not a controlled place. You're out here all by yourself. For instance, right now, we are miles, not a mile or a quarter mile, we are miles away from the nearest rescue and services. You're all by yourself out here. This water is frigid cold and anything can happen. So you guys have to be prepared. I've got a whistle. You can whistle further than you can scream for help. It's just a good point to make that you have to be careful in the national parks. These are wild and they're kept wild. It's a nice steep beach for us to pull up onto. Found this neat little beach for a break. I think we're about halfway back. There's a lot of really cool looking flowers here in Glacier National Park. We've seen a ton of birds. Really a great place to be in the summertime. Well, we just had a good rest on this beach. It's really calm out here now. So this was a good thing for us to do to pull over. Finally, we got some flat water um, for the return trip and we're gonna push it really hard. Hopefully we can make it before the wind kicks up again. As we're coming up to shore, I kind of realized something. What these kayaks offered us was a window into a part of Glacier that not everybody gets to see. We paddled so deep away from the roads and away from the hiking trails that there was no sound of civilization. There was no sound of roads. There was no sound of voices. There were no power lines. There were no buildings. And that's a truly unique thing that the kayak will give you. I saw nothing but deer tracks on the sand. That experience was truly priceless.